Now, we realized from the start that the revival of the Fabergé legacy would be a major undertaking. For this, we recruited an experienced team from the luxury goods sector. Fabergé has essentially three major shareholders. Together, own over 80% of the equity of the, of the company. The big three investors are Investec Limited, the British South African Banking Group, uh, Midstream and Resources, a US-based private equity fund, and then Pellinghurst Resources, which is a company listed on the Bermuda and the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. When Peter Carl took over the business in 1882, he transformed it. The house became purveyors to the Tsars of Russia and an international phenomenon. Both Sarah Fabergé and I know that our great-grandfather would certainly approve and indeed be extremely proud of our achievements today. To have a wonderful heritage is one thing, to have a clean slate upon which to, offer, uh, to operate is another. But we need to reconnect with that heritage. And that's where uh, Pallinghurst did us a wonderful favor and again showed their, a great insight by, as Brian said, uh, inviting Peter Carl Fabergé's granddaughter Sarah and Tatiana to join the company, to become both shareholders and founders of our Heritage Council, thereby, in one move, symbolically reuniting the House of Fabergé.